Have you ever seen anything like it before? This is so fun. These are seriously some of the best tacos I've had here in Los Angeles. How come I've never heard of this place before? This is amazing. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Steve from Rockstar Eater coming to you with another rockin' episode. And today I am out here in Silmar, which is really north of Los Angeles because I'm gonna be covering another rockin' spot, of course. Today I'm gonna be hitting up some tacos at a taco truck. This is one of the most popular taco trucks that you can find in Los Angeles. According to Yelp and some online articles, this is the highest rated taco truck that you can find in Los Angeles, Taqueria Mi Ranchito. They got really great tacos, great burritos, flautas, all that great Mexican food. I'm so excited to check this out, oh yeah. So if you guys wanna see what Yelp's highest rated taco truck looks like in Los Angeles, you've come to the right episode. So be sure to stick all the way to the end so that you can see this amazing taco and Mexican food feast that I'm about to have here at this taco truck. And also if you're new to this channel, take a moment right now to hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell because I post these food and travel videos weekly you don't want to miss out on. So go ahead, do that right now. And the taco truck is about to open. So let's go, let's try these awesome tacos. So as you can see guys, I am inside the taco truck and it's been here for about six years. And since then, it has grown to be one of the most popular taco Mexican food trucks that you can find in Los Angeles County. Everything here is made fresh. Like I said, they got tacos of all kinds and it's very busy here. So once it opens at 12, then it just goes. So yeah, let's, uh, let's see how they make some of this stuff. As you can see, the menu is fairly small and very easy. Many people come here to eat the tacos, which are about 250, but then they also have other things like burrito, quesadilla, torta, bowls. These are your different types of meats that you can get. Ooh, wow. See carnitas, pollo, uh, tripa. One of the special things about this taco truck is that they fresh make their tortillas. Oh, oh yeah. Then afterwards, it goes on the grill. It's made to order. That is incredible. All right guys, so this is Jesus. He's the owner of this taqueria truck. We got some fries. Yes, okay. Sir. Yep, they got fries here. Yep, yep, you guys know that the tacos here are the highlights. Jesus is making the chicken, the pollo tacos. Yeah, and you can certainly mix and match it. Uh, I think they have nine different selections of tacos on the menu, is that correct? Okay, yeah, about nine. So I'm gonna start with these three tacos first. I got the chicken taco to the right, and then the carne taco, which is the beef to the center. And to the left, that is the pastor taco. And another thing I have to let you know is that there is nowhere to sit out here. You have to take your food to go, either at home or some local park maybe. I'm just gonna sit back here behind the truck and enjoy my food back here. I don't know if I'm supposed to do this, but oh well. Wow, that's delicious. The first thing I notice is um, the tortillas are so soft. It tastes very fresh. It's not packaged. These are fresh made tortillas. And that's always a good sign, especially for taco trucks. The chicken itself is so tender, so moist, so well seasoned. And then of course the salsa uh, really enhances the flavor to this whole thing. I am off to a good start. Next one, steak tacos, oh yeah. Who doesn't like steak tacos? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, I'm gonna be jumping up and down. That steak taco exceeded my expectations. It is bursting with flavor, wow. I didn't expect that. I don't wanna say it's my favorite already, but man, it is so tasty. I mean, I think it's just the sauce in here that's really bringing out the flavor, like that salt, kind of like slightly salty, chipotle-like flavor is just amazing. 
And with that said, I am super excited about the carnita tacos as well. Oh yeah. Mmm. Mmm. I thought it couldn't get any better. Oh, this is like a dream taco. I just love that sauce in here. This uh, orangey sauce that's a little bit spicy, but it's so flavorful. It touches you when you eat it. Seriously, if I just ended with these three tacos, I would walk away here extremely happy with a very high impression of Taqueria Mi Ranchito. I'm so happy, but I'm not gonna end here. I'm definitely gonna try more of what's on their menu. Ready? Uh, nice and hot. Yes, sir. Yeah. Wow. That's the cheese, queso, and beans. This already looks so delicious. Oh yeah, you're gonna load it up with all that beef once again. Avocado, house special sauce. Grilled onions. Ready to go. Ready to go. So the molita is just tortillas with cheese, and then is there any meat in there too? Yes. Okay, the meat will come later. So here's the next one that I'm going to eat. This is called the molitas. I don't remember when I had this before, but it's simply tortillas, and inside is cheese, some beef, and it's been grilled on both sides to perfection, kind of smashed. And yeah, that's how it is, along with your sauces like avocado, tomatillo, and the house special spicy sauce. Oh, <laughs> actually I thought there was going to be a lot of cheese to do a cheese pull. It's alright, just eat, just eat. Wow. Oh man, that cheese is so delicious. It has a very good flavor, that's what I noticed about the cheese. Usually when I have cheese in my food, I'm not that crazy about it, which is why I don't eat cheeseburgers that often, in case you guys are wondering. But the cheese in here is amazing. That's the first thing I noticed about this mulita. Wow, I mean, the beef is good, of course, too. And man, the dipping sauces, really, these make all the difference. Oh, wow, this is so good. Now, yeah. the molitas you definitely need to get here. This is really one of the, I think my new undiscovered Mexican foods that I really like. The next one I decided to get, this is the flautas. You know what flautas are, right? Rolled tacos. It's in the bottom buried underneath all this cabbage and tomato, cheese, uh, sauce. What about if I try it with the tomatillo sauce? That sounds pretty good. I gotta mention this, the sauces that they use here, the dips and everything that they pour on top of the tacos, the flautas, everything, it's special. Something about the sauce is really good. And this is kind of what I've heard from other people as well, and even the management team, but they have definitely thought out their sauce recipe. It is really what adds that magical flavor to everything here. This is the nachos. So underneath, all the nachos, but then on top you got the onions and beef and uh, beans, a lot of sauce. Same thing with this one, like very identical toppings, but in the bottom of this one, we have french fries. Okay, so for these, the nachos, like I said, they're all the way in the bottom. You could use your fingers or you could try to pick it up with a fork and just try to get like a big bite in your mouth. Those are like the most incredibly loaded nachos I think I've had in a long time. I don't eat nachos that often. I don't. Because it's kind of um, not the healthiest food in the world. But this I feel like is one of those meals you just want to go all out with. It's like if you're eating nachos anyways, why not just fill it with all these beans and sauces and, and meats. It's like your ultimate nacho adventure here. And it's so tasty too. Like crispy. Very savory, so saucy, <laughs> it's like really, wow. And I feel like with the fries, it's going to taste almost identical, but just the base is gonna taste different because it's french fries, so it's gonna have more of that potato softness in your mouth. 
really good. Oh yeah, this is good. And these french fries are very fresh as well. I think, um, personally out of these two, I think I probably like the nachos better because I just really like the crispiness of the nachos. But hey, you know, a lot of people love the fries. It's also very popular, carne is as hot as fries. So it's definitely something you should get if you want the ultimate fry, loaded fries experience, I would say. But just too bad because the nachos and the fries, they get limp very quickly. So you have to eat it as, as fast as you can because once you take it home, it's just not gonna be the same. I did not think that all the foods that I had today were gonna taste this great. I don't know what it is exactly about it. I mean, it's a combination of the freshness the sauces and just a lot of love that's poured into making these recipes but they are some awesome recipes oh yeah i definitely got to be back here in the future so if you guys are looking for really one of the hottest taco spots you got to come here you know i don't know if i want to say that it's like my absolute favorite one because i've been to so many great taco spots in la but i can tell you the food here is really good you have to come you have to try it it's really one of the top taco spots i've been to so remember that Taqueria Mi Ranchito in Silmar. Make the drive out here because it is so worth it. All right guys, so before I close out this episode, I wanna give a shout out once again to Jesus right here, the owner of Taqueria Mi Ranchito. So when you come to this special taco truck, tell him you saw this episode and he's gonna hook you up with a drink, right? Yeah, we're gonna get you some horchata, lemonade, or jamaica. Yes, and those are so awesome too, but let that not be the only reason you come here. <laughs> Anyways, thank you so much for watching this episode of Rockstar Eater. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoy what, what I'm doing. Also you, comment, guys. yeah, if you like, um, if you've been here, I wanna hear your story. And also subscribe because more of these food episodes are coming out. Well, I hope you have a rocking day today, folks, and I'll see you in the next food adventure.